Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to convert temperature between the different measures of temperature. So there's three different measures for temperature, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. So there are some formulas and these I picked up from wikipedia.com and let's say for example you had a spreadsheet of um, different formulas in Celsius and you wanted to convert the formulas. Well there's a way to do it uh, in the temperature here, so I mean if we wanted to go and to go through and find out what 100 degrees Celsius is in Fahrenheit. Well, what we need to do is just look at this formula and go uh, 100 degrees, and then we need to multiply that by 9 over 5, and then plus 32, and that should be 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, there's actually an easier way to do this. Let's go ahead and delete that, and you can do this for any one of these areas here. So what we want to do is we want to use the convert function. So the convert function has some predefined uh, values that you can convert measures or you convert from one to another. So we select our number here and from our unit. So once we uh, plug in the comma, it's going to provide different measures that we can use. And the three measures that we can use for temperature are Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvins. So we want to do the from unit, and that's going to be Celsius. And we see that the, the two unit here, Fahrenheit, is F. So we just do that, put an F in parentheses, or you can select that. So we just double click it to do the first one. And then once I put another comma, we have our second one here. And I can just scroll down, and I guess I'll just use Fahrenheit for the second one. Double click that, press Enter, and now we have our 212. And the same we can do for Kelvin. So how many Kelvins is 100 degrees Celsius? Same here, convert. And that number from Celsius to Kelvin. Oops, comma, Kelvin. Uh, I can either press enter, and, and Excel is actually pretty smart enough to close it off with a closing parentheses. Oops. I think I forgot to, uh, I think I did that one incorrectly. Let's see. So we have, oh, <laughs> capital C. Uh, that needs to be a capital C. See, the lowercase c would be the thermodynamic calorie. So for Celsius, it's a capital C in quotes. And then for Kelvins, it's a capital K in quotes. Very tricky there. And there we have 373.15. So we can do the same here for Fahrenheit. Equals uh, convert Fahrenheit from Fahrenheit to Celsius, all caps here. Same for Kelvins, convert this number, Fahrenheit, to from Fahrenheit to Kelvins. All right. Right, we're converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And here, same thing. Convert that number from Kelvins to Celsius. Press Enter. Convert 373.15 Kelvins from capital K for Kelvins to Fahrenheit. And there we have our conversions. So instead of writing looking up these formulas and putting those in, Excel has the convert function which actually lets you do the conversions pretty much kind of on the fly. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.